I mean, look at this. This light's all lit up. This light over here is out. I just replaced these bulbs. So I know it's holding out the bulbs. It's probably the photo sensors. These have dusk to dawn photo sensors, and they are notorious to fail. So we'll have to check that out. Man, it's always something. All right, first thing we need to grab is my big aluminum stepladder. This thing is great. It's big, it's tall, it's eight foot tall. It's, it's aluminum, so it's light. Then we're going to grab my Fluke. This is my Fluke 322. It's one of my favorites. It's small, it's lightweight. It does pretty much everything I need it to do besides DCMs, but other than that, it does everything. Let's get up on this ladder. Up on the ladder, let's do some troubleshooting and see what's going on here. Here's the photo cell that I suspect has failed. If I cover it with my finger, I can hear the relay picking up. So that means that power is getting into here, right? So I know power is coming into here. So it's probably the photo sensor. So let's take a voltage reading. This light fixture has this, 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 this two pin connector style. Um, they put these in houses to make sure you use energy efficient bulbs. They kind of went out of style. Everything uses a regular light bulb base now. But we're going to take a voltage reading between these two spots right here and uh, see if it's see if we're getting what we're supposed to be getting. I'm going to grab the fluke. Uh, we're going to put the fluke on AC volts. That's the V with the squiggly on it. So we'll set this on the on the ladder along with the camera so we can get a steady shot. And that way I can use both hands. I can put one hand with the test leads up in there to, between those two points. And I can use my other hand to cover the photo cell. If it's working correctly, it should be passing line voltage about 115, 120. Uh, we'll see what we're going to get. Either we're going to get nothing we're, or we're going to get something weird. We're getting something weird. We're getting about 78 point something volts, which is craptastic. So that's probably why our light bulb isn't working. It's not passing enough voltage to light it up. Um, so it's definitely the photo sensor. Luckily, that's an easy fix. We can pull this down and place that photo cell and we should be good to go. Um, let's get this thing down and onto the bench. All right, with power secured to the light, we can start taking this thing down. We're going to take out these two decorative screw caps right here. That's all that's holding this in place. These are just finger tight. Luckily, I don't have to use any pliers. So I'll pull, get these two off and try not to drop them into the stones below. This, and then we're going to gently pull this off of here and it's almost free. Now all that's left is electrical connections. We'll spin this around so you can see it. Here's the ground wire. I'm just going to let this hang by the ground wire. It's got uh, plenty of strength, so I'm not worried about it. All right, here's our uh, here's our photo cell right here. This is the part that's bad, right? This little thing's causing all our problem. This thing right here. So we're gonna pull this out. Not a whole lot of room in this box, right? So there's some room back here, but uh, photo cell can't go back there. So, uh, but some wires can. So we'll just get this thing out of here. So um, what we're gonna have to do is just cut these two crimpons. Here's our hot. Here's our neutral. Um, we'll cut these two crimpons right here. But first, let's check it with our non-contact uh, volt voltmeter. Yep, it's dead. We really did secure power. You know, there can never be too safe here. All right. So we'll go ahead and get this thing disconnected. Uh, we just got to cut these two crimpon connectors here. There's a zip tie and some crimpons. All right, no big deal. We'll grab our super simple wire strippers here. And we'll try and clip these. We'll try to leave as much wire as we can. So we'll cut these up close to the zip tie. Here's our neutral. There's our hot. All right now we're just hanging on by the hanging on by the ground. We'll stuff these back in here just to get them out of the way. All right, so we'll pull this. Here comes the ground out of this box. <laughs> Whoever installed this wrapped this around pretty good. This ground wire is wrapped around the house lead about 15 times. We'll take this wire nut off, all right, and then as soon as I unwrap this, it's going to drop. So I'm going to hold it in one hand, put these out of the way again, and then I'm going to unwrap this ground. As I do this, it should be set free. So we'll get this unwrap, 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 unwrap. All right, almost free, almost free. Unwrap, and it is free, all right? Let's take this down to the bench get this thing replaced. All right, we've got this on the bench. 
Um, so we can get it's easier to work with. I'll give this a little spin so it's easier for the camera to see. Try and line that up. You can see this is a pretty simple setup. Right? There's our bad photo cell. There's our leads going to our photo cell. Here's our ground wire that was hanging from when we took these two support things, the things that they were hanging right here. We took those out. That's what it was hanging from. Um, we're going to get this thing out of here. It should be super simple to do. We'll cut, um, we'll cut these two wire nuts off or wire, they're crimp on, not really wire nuts. We'll cut these two things off and get these things out of here um, and that thing should come out. We're going to use our uh, our wire stripper wire cutters. I'm using the super simple pair. You know, that's my favorite pair. We'll cut these up close. Um, we'll cut the, the wire tie off first, and then we'll cut these um, crimp on wire connectors off really close up to the connector so we can save as much wire as possible. All right, so we'll give these we'll give these a clip. Set that aside. That's trash. We'll get rid of that later. We'll get this other one off. We'll cut it up close to the connector again, try and save some wire. Right there it is, it's off. Set that aside for later because that's going to go in the trash. Set that down. All right now, it's totally electrically disconnected. There's our two wires, our hot and our neutral, coming from our light fixture, uh, independent of the photo sensor. Right, like those connect here. We would just connect this straight to the house if we wanted to bypass the photo sensor. Uh, we might do that if things don't work out the way we planned today. If we have to do a part two to this, um, but let's go ahead and get this thing out of here. All right, to get this thing off, we got to get this photo cell out. This is the part you can cover with your finger to show it being dark. That's the actual sensor. The only thing that's holding this thing in place is this little knurled nut thing right here. This part right here, we just got to unscrew this. Uh, it's got a little funk on it, so it's a little, a little too tight to do by hand. So I'm going to grab this with a pair of channel locks, and this should just come out the bottom right here. All right, back with some channel locks. We want to give this little ring a little persuasion, but not too much gorilla because it's just pot metal or aluminum. We don't want it to bend. That's all it takes, a little squeeze, a little twist, and it's free to do by hand. We'll get this little decorative ring off of here, and this should be the last step before this thing comes out completely free. See, it's just threaded on the inside, simple little ring. All right, we'll give this thing a little wiggle jiggle, a little pull, and it should pull right out. Here it comes, ready, and it's free. All right, so there's our fending part. Uh, we'll see if I got a spare that'll fit. I doubt it, but we'll have to do a little internet research and order a replacement part and get this thing replaced. All right, so my spare photo sensor is definitely way too big to fit. Uh, so I had to look up this part number right here. I looked this up on the internet and apparently they don't make this particular photo sensor anymore. So this one appears to be the replacement. Uh, just to be sure uh, that this would fit, I checked the, uh, not only did I check the physical dimensions, um, I got this chart out of their, um, their data sheet on the website, and then I took some measurements of the current uh, photo sensor to make sure they matched up. They were close enough. I was within a few uh, hundredths of an inch, and I'll chalk that up to operator error and you know, my $5 plastic calipers not being the most precise, uh, but good enough to say that this, that I was pretty confident that this replacement was going to fit. Um, so I ha ordered this. It's going to be a few days before it comes in. So I'm going to go ahead and get this light installed um, and bypass the photo sensor uh, and just put it up there for a few days until this part comes in. All right, so let's get this thing ready to go back up without the photo sensor. Here's a hot and a neutral. Uh, you can see I've already got these uh, stripped off. I stripped this insulation back uh, just with my Klein automatic strippers. Uh, these things are pretty awesome. If you've never used one of these before, these Klein automatic strippers, just find the right gauge wire, and this will give this will grab the wire, cut the insulation, and pull it away all with one squeeze. Uh, it's great, especially if you're at the bench stripping a lot of wire. Um, so I got this stripped back, and I'm going to use these Wago uh, lever nuts again. I've, I've got enough uh, insulation stripped back where it could go inside of here and um, not have any exposed conductor once the wire nut is uh, once the lever nut is on. Um, these work great on solid strand wire and they work great on stranded wire too. But if you're going to do stranded wire, uh, give the wire a few twists. So you don't have any stragglers. You don't want any stragglers from here when you try to stick this inside of the lever nut. So I'm going to give these a give this a few twists. Make sure we don't have any stragglers. Uh, and then we'll we'll slide the we'll slide the lever nut onto here, and it'll have all this will be covered. Um, we'll also use it on the ground. You can see they tinned this ground wire, and if you can really see it, they tinned this ground wire. 
um, we're going to slide this on. We're going to close the lever nut and done. You see how nice and snug that is? Super easy, especially when I want to come back later and install this photo sensor. Right? These, these things are awesome. So we'll do the neutral wire. We'll just slide this in, close the lever, nice and snug. And you can see insulation goes inside just a little bit. No exposed conductor, right? So nothing can, can touch by accident. We'll do this ground wire last, stick it in, close the lever, good to go. And that's it. All we got to do now is get this thing up on the ladder. All right, we're back up on the ladder. You see what we got going on here. We got our lever nuts installed. Here's our hots in one lever nut. Here's our neutrals in the other lever nut. And then here's our grounds in the third lever nut, right? Easy smeezy. All right, we'll try and stuff this back here a little bit. Give us a little bit of room. Not going give to give us a whole lot of room, but it'll help a little bit. And then all we got to do is slide this on to the post, uh, stick it on the bracket. We'll get this on here. Slide that on nice and easy. And there we go. That's installed. Now I'll hold this with one hand. I'll grab these one of these decorative cap nuts and install this. These don't have to be super tight. No gorilla. No pliers. Just finger tight is fine. And we'll grab the other one. Grab this other side. Get this on. All right. So our light fixture is installed again. There we go. So now that this is nice and snug, um, now we got to figure out what we're going to do uh, about this big old hole that's in the top right here where the photo sensor was, right? This 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 big hole right here. This this fixture isn't watertight, but you know, if there's water could get into here, but we don't want this big hole right here. We don't want this this big gap. So we're going to use the magic of duct tape. Duct tape can fix almost anything. We'll just give this a little cover. Look at that. It even blends in with the finish. You can't even really tell it's there. All right, and this will keep water out of this hole until until we receive our new photo sensor in the mail and we can get up here and replace this thing. Let's give this thing a test. All right, we'll turn the power switch back on. And what we should see is the light that still has the photo sensor in it. This one's closest to us should be out, and it is. This one's out. And then the light down here that we bypass should be on, and you can see that it's lit up. So everything's working like we expect it to. So for the next couple days, I'll just have to act like a freaking caveman and turn my own lights on and off. And then when the photo sensor comes in the mail, we'll get that replaced. It should only take a moment. So stand by.